Welcome to day two of Vlogmas. I just clocked out. It's one o'clock or a little after one o'clock. So I am done for the week. Happy Friday, by the way. I'm gonna fix me a little bit of uh, somewhat of a lunch. Uh, another busy day, but uh, I'm getting the hang of it. And I really like it. I really like it. Uh, I still didn't get to do, I started on part of uh, some stuff that I'm supposed to be doing, um, but I didn't have enough time to really get into it. So hopefully next week I can do that. Um, but right now I'm gonna make me a little sandwich and then maybe do something with my face and go run a few errands if I can. But yeah, once again, nothing, no activities happening today. I was working all morning. Um, no reading, no listening. <laughs> Horrible. I did start, um, I think I'm gonna nix the last, the last party for right now. Um, I may continue it later on at some point, but I'm just not into it right now. I kind of really want to start into my male male Christmas romances. But uh, I, I have started needing the Kranken by Hermes Jordan. So I need to continue, I do want to continue reading that. And I'm going to see if I can find me a Christmas male male romance that I can listen to maybe uh, this weekend while I do some things. I do need to start decorating for Christmas or at least <laughs> take all my Thanksgiving and fall decorations down. Here here we are December 2nd and I'm still in I'm still in fall mode. <laughs> and it, it is hot outside, so there's that. Well, I say hot, but it's more like a it's more like a warm, humid kind of day. It's it's not, it's not a good thing. Um but anyway, that's Louisiana for you. So yeah, I do need to get some Christmas, <laughs> some Christmas spirit up in this house, and uh, I need to do some, I need to do some shopping this weekend. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'm gonna make me a sandwich, and I'll touch base with y'all later. Maybe we'll go run some errands. I have been in here, kind of reorganizing my TBR shelf. I think one of my, well, this is my New Year's re resolution every year is to get through this shelf. There are so many unread good books on here, but I decided to put like all my like physical LGBTQ plus and male male romances just up here because they were just all kind of scattered about and I just want to know where they're at and what I got to read. I completely forgot I had husband, husband material uh, and Hood River Rat. Um, this one's by Kay Webster. Um, I knew I had this one. I completely forgot I had the next book in the uh, Sapphire. Uh, Cove series is Sapphire Spring by um, C. Travis Rice or Christopher Rice. And then I need, I really need to get to uh, this third and last Simon Snow book. Oh, and Lavender Houses, uh, the newest release of, of them all. And I really need to continue this book. I started it on aud audio and I don't like the audio, so I'm going to physically read it. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. So. As you can see, I did not feel like doing anything with my face. I didn't go run errands. I look like a shawi. I'm like in this like cozy, loose clothes get up. Not flattering at all. Um, but TMI, it is that time of the month and it's the first day. So I'm not feeling my spiffiest, if you know what I mean. Um, so I think I'm, I need to I need to go get my laptop. I figured what we do is kind of go through. Um, I, I want to really read like mostly Christmas male male romances for the month of December. So I haven't made me a TBR in months, probably I think since September. Um, so I need to I need to do that. I kind of want to do that. So I need to go get my laptop. And this, ugh, this lighting is horrible. <laughs> I need to do something different with this. So I'm gonna pull this one off my bookshelf because I definitely wanna read it. This is You Are a Mean One, Matthew Prince. Um, this is by Timothy Genovoski. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to read this one. I also definitely wanna do 
uh, Christmas on Firefly Hill by Garrett Lee. So I'm going to put that on my Kindle right now. Let's see if we got some audiobooks. It, it just it just gets stuck. I need a new phone. This is ridiculous. Like And this is this is a 12. I'm not even finished paying it on paying on it. <laughs> I know I'm more than halfway finished, but still, goodness. Okay. No results on this Christmas on Firefly Hill by Garrett Lee. So I'm going to put it on my Kindle. I definitely want to get to that one. Then we have Once Upon a Sexy Scrooge by Ella Frank and Blook. Blook. Brooke Blaine. <laughs> I kind of definitely want to read that one as well. Let's see if that one's on audio. Nope, that one's not there either. But I'm going to put it on my Kindle. I also want to get to, I'm going to pull pull this one up. This is the third book, but I still haven't read the second book. I don't think. Um, Merry Christmas Cupid. Um, this is by N.R. Walker. This is from the Heartbridge Christmas series. I read Tic Tac Mistletoe last year, which was super cute. And then we have Christmas Wishless is the second book. I don't think I read it. No, it would be on my Kindle if I did. Okay, Christmas Wishlist by N.R. Walker is on Scribd. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to listen to that one. It is read by uh, Glenn Lloyd, which I think is a good male male romance narrator. But we shall find out. Merry Christmas Cupid, which is the third book, is not... Well, it's not on Scribd. I don't think it'll be... Let me check Audible, but... Um, I doubt it. No, it's not there either. But I'm going to put it on my Kindle. It doesn't come out till December 8th. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, well, it's added to my list already. So, um, so yeah. So, that one might be a possibility as well. Scribd also has your mean one, Matthew Prince. Let's see who narrates it. It's narrated by Mark Sanderlin. I don't know if I've ever heard that narrator, but I'm going to give him a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and save that one. Okay, so for sure we have two on audio. Christmas Wishlist by N.R. Walker, as well as your A Mean One, Matthew Prince uh, by Timothy Janabowski. Uh, and then so far on my Kindle, we have... Once Upon a Christmas, A Sexy Scrooge by Ella Frank and Brooke Blaine. And then Christmas on Firefly Hill by Garrett Lee. Um, so I'm going to stick with those for right now. Uh, so that's just four of them. But I am also currently, I think I said this, I started reading Needing the Crankin', but I didn't get very far. Uh, so I need to continue with that. So that's why I kind of wanted to listen to a Christmas mail mail romance so I'd have like I like having two things going at one time multitasker okay I'm about to fix me some dinner it's 5 37 I'm gonna do a hello fat uh, hello flash hello fresh this is sizzling sizzling hoisin shrimp we'll see how it goes with ginger scallion rice and roasted green beans so it sounds delicious I got the shrimp defrosting in the sink I got all my ingredients here in this bag. This is not sponsored, by the way. I randomly, I, I am subscribed to HelloFresh. Um, and I ran, I don't do it all the time. I randomly order me some, some things when I feel like I might, I might feel like cooking. It happens every now and then. Anyway, I'm also going to open up this bottle of white. This is a Moscata. This is the brand Stella Rosa. These are delicious. I haven't tried this one yet. I usually get the peach, um, but I thought I'd try something different. So this is just a regular Moscata. So we're gonna try it. I didn't feel like um, I didn't feel like anything bold, you know. I didn't feel like a, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like a red. Oh, it smells delicious. It's got a little bit of a fizziness to it.
Oh, perfect. Just what I wanted. Okay. So I'm going to get started. And uh, oh, I started listening to Christmas Wish List by NR Walker. Love it. It's so far, it's so adorable. Um, we have Jaden. Glenn Lloyd is a fantastic um, narrator. Uh, Jaden is Australian and he's moving to Hardbridge to not really like start all over, but just like, you know, a fresh start kind of thing. Just something different, really. Um, and he's a chef as well, so he took a job at a new bed and breakfast that was opening up in this little, is it Hartridge? I think it's Hartridge, little Hartridge town. And of course our guys from the first book are in it, uh, Ren and Hamus, yeah. Uh, Ren owns like a hardware store and uh, him and Hamish will be getting married soon. And uh, anyway, the, the owner of the bed and breakfast is a good friend of Ren's uh, and he re redid his uh, grandmother's like old like mansion manor or whatever it is and made it into a, a bed and breakfast. Um, Carter or Cass is his name. Uh, so yeah, it's super cute. So they, they just met, you know, um, so basically Jaden is going to be working for Cass and, uh, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, but so far I love it. Okay. I got to toss these shrimp about and let them marinate for a few. I have my ginger rice cooking and I'm gonna do the shrimp in this pan. I'm a little nervous about the shrimp because uh, it's been a while since I've cooked shrimp. Michael's a cook in this family. I, I don't I don't know anything about it. So I hope I hope I do it justice. There's Miss Princess. Where are you going? Everybody's saying how cute you are. Look how cute you are. Yeah, where's your sweet kitty? When she wants to be. Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the green beans are ready. I need some new oven mitts, y'all. Look at these things. <laughs> I'm not the cook, so I don't buy the cooking things. And Michael doesn't care. I need to get him some better cooking beer. What y'all think? I might let him go a little bit, a little bit longer. I think I might have salted him too much. We'll find out. All right, here we go, y'all. I don't think my pot's hot enough, but it'll get there. I think they might look good. I think I might be okay if I try to eat them. They're a little like charred, but that's kind of how I like them. I feel like I know that they're cooked. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared of eating uncooked. No, I mean, it is dangerous to eat uncooked, especially some seafoods I don't know but yeah I think I think I'm okay this is what we're looking like and we're supposed to drizzle some green onions on top oops <laughs> just a little bit and some sesame seeds I got that all over the place and a squeeze of lime. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Oh! <laughs> oh I got a little excited there. Looks really good. Let's taste it. The green beans are good. I've already tasted the green beans. They, all, I did salt them a little, well, maybe a little bit too much, but they're so good. 
Okay, let's get some rice and a shrimp. tomorrow morning with my esthetician at 10 o'clock so there's that and I also have to go take care of my brother's cat in the morning before I leave go feed him empty his litter box and just open the doors for him so he can um, enjoy the outside <laughs> even though he's not gonna be able to go outside other than that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow I'm gonna try to I didn't get to Christmas decorate this evening um, I did kind of scrounge up all my fall and Thanksgiving decorations which actually wasn't a lot I thought it was way more than it was so maybe tomorrow I can get started on some Christmas decoration get some Christmas spirit up in this house but as always thank y'all so much for watching I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog even though we didn't do much we worked we made a HelloFresh meal. We planned some sort of TBR. <laughs> Thank y'all for being here with me anyway though. Hugs from me all around y'all and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>